This episode was made possible in part by IKEA and Annie's Creative Girls Club. Table. Did you feed Rosie yet, Peter? <sighs> nope, not yet. I love Rosie, but she's so not good at playing games. <sighs> Cats do what they like, Pinkalicious. They have minds of their own. Here, kitty kitty. Time for Din Din. Mmm, this is really yummy, Daddy. <laughs> Rosie! And no cats at the table, please. She doesn't know the rules yet. <laughs> well, okay, just this once. Rosie! Rosie! Come sit on my lap! No? Are you sure? I'm a really good cat petter. Why didn't we get a cat like... 200 years ago. You're the best pet ever. Huh. Night, Rosie. Don't miss me too much. Wait till you see your new bed, Rosie. <coughs> Should I tell you a story about the cat who liked to jump rope? Once upon a time. There was a cat named Jumpers who liked to jump. Oh, wait! I forgot to tuck you in! Rosie? Oh, where'd you go? She came in to be with me. Uh, I don't get it. I, I made Rosie her own bed. Guess she just likes me more than you. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. She likes us both the same. Wait, Rosie! Don't you want a story? Sorry, Pinkalicious. Should I bring her back? Yes! Well, no. I guess Rosie should sleep where she wants. Good night. See you in the morning. You need a five? Go fish! That's exactly what I'm doing! Fishing! Just as soon as I find my... Aha! Ta-da! Hurry up, Peter! The trout won't wait for us! Coming! Here's a treat, Rosie. Just so you won't miss me too much. Bye, Peter. Oh, 
Rosie's just like Rusty. He howls when I leave. You should see my pinkfish, Archie. If I go somewhere, he swims to the bottom of the tank and hides. Rosie wouldn't care if I left and never came back. Of course she would. Rosie loves you. She doesn't. She won't even sleep in my room anymore. She only wants to be with Peter. I bet there's something different about Peter that Rosie likes. Maybe it's his hat. Or his t-shirt. Rusty loves my slippers. It could be any of his clothes. Hmm. <gasps> hmm. Nope. <laughs> uh. Yes! Rosie! I have a little surprise for you. Like you, though. Try talking like Peter. Maybe Rosie likes his voice. Uh... Where's my kazoo? Let's build a tower to the moon. Did you hear my bell? Ah, wooga! Like that? Hmm. More excited and louder. Where's my kazoo? Let's build a tower to the moon. Did you hear my bell? Ah, wooga! <laughs> Better. Good enough for Rosie? Only one way to find out. Good luck. Where's my kazoo? Let's build a tower to the moon. Did you hear my bell? Ah, wooga! Do you like how I look? Come on. I've got the hat, the sneakers, uh, the shorts. Ah, wait, wait, I got it. Come here. Pinkalicious, I don't think Peter remembered to feed Rosie this morning. Can you do it? Sure, Mommy. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. Enjoy your dinner, Rosie. We forgot the most important thing. You should smell like Peter. Of course. Animals are all about the smell. Rusty sniffs everything. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. <gasps> I know. Peter sucks. What does Peter smell like? Like applesauce mixed with mud, plus shampoo and wet grass. <laughs> Bingo. Peter, perfect! I don't believe it! It worked! The Peter smell worked! Oh, this is making me cry. I am not taking these socks off! Not ever, never, no matter what! reason you're wearing wacky socks? <laughs> My cat likes them. <gasps> Rosie, what are you doing here? Your turn. Hi, Mr. Swizzle. I would like a blueberry, raspberry, pinkberry, uh... What? How did Rosie get here? She must have smelled the socks from all the way home. Sorry, Pinkalicious, but I can't have cats in my shop. Ready or not, here I come! <laughs> Rosie! You can't follow me everywhere! I'm so, so happy that you love me, but it's not safe for you to follow me around town. 
Let's practice, okay? Stay here and don't follow me upstairs. Good kitty! Stay! Woo! It worked! <laughs> oh, I told you to stay! Okay, what did you do? Rosie is totally ignoring me now! No, she's not! Go to Peter, Rosie! Here, Rosie! Told you! Was it a magic trick? Cause that's not fair! No! It's these! Your socks! She loves the smell of you, so I borrowed them! Seriously? Wow! Here, Rosie! Come and get it! This makes no sense! Dinner's almost ready! Did anyone feed Rosie? No! We can't figure it out! Yesterday Rosie loved me, and today she won't go near me! We want her to love both of us! At the same time! What is happening? Why is she liking me again? All you did was feed her! <gasps> you fed her! It's the food! She likes whoever is feeding her! Awesome! Oh. So I'm adding feeding to the sleeping chart. We'll take turns doing both. That way she'll love us both equally. Which is good, cause I gotta say, it's not that easy walking with a kitten on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, here's my game. The person who's it is a person visiting the museum and they're gonna announce which gallery they're going in. Then they will tap one of the statues on the head. Then it will come to life. And you have three chances to guess what that statue is trying to be. Pe peck? A woodpecker. Yes. <laughs> Monkey? Yeah. I'm gonna visit the beach gallery. You, no running, slow down over there. A lifeguard. Put your ear up against me. Shh. Are you a shell? I love this game because you can pretend acting out different animal, peoples, or things just by using your voice and movements. Woo! Yeah. And I'm gonna visit the underwater gallery. An octopus? A jellyfish? Yeah! <laughs> Sometimes this game can be hard because you're not wearing a costume and you have to think of a movement and a voice that that thing that you're trying to be does. You can use your voice and your body to be whatever you imagine. I love this game. Yeah, me too. Cupcake Calamity! Ugh, I do not like going to Mr. Swizzle's ice cream shop. What? You don't like ice cream? No, I love ice cream. Phew. It's just, Mr. Swizzle has so many flavors of ice cream. I can never decide which one I should get. Just get the best flavor, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we aren't the only ones who want ice cream. Cool. Oh, wow. Hey, Pinkalicious. Mr. Swizzle says he has a special surprise for us. Step right up, folks. Prepare your taste buds. Dessert is about to be served. Ta-da! <gasps> Behold, my cupcake create matic It makes cupcakes in any flavor, any color, any size, with any filling or topping you want right on the spot. Pink, amazing! Any flavor? Now I'll never decide. That's pink credible, Mr. Swizzle. I like to think it's Swizzle-tastic. <laughs> Want to try it? Yes, please. 
May I have a chocolate cupcake? I want vanilla. Chocolate vanilla? Why stop there? Mr. Swizzle said any flavor. A cupcake of moonbeams that glow. A cupcake frosted with snow. A rainbow cupcake, colorful and bright, with a different flavor in every bite. I could have my favorite cupcake of all. Out of all the flavors in the world, I'd like a strawberry cupcake with raspberry frosting and pink sprinkles, please. Of course. I'll try the moonbeam one later. Um, okay. Just press this. Um, try it again. Let me press it. <sighs> Instant cupcakes. I knew it was too good to be true. Maybe if we press it really hard? Oh dear, <gasps> maybe I better take a look inside. Oh wait, let me find the owner's guide first. Don't worry kids, I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Aww. There will be cupcakes. Should we take a look inside? Yes! Ooh. Ooh. This isn't just Pinkredible. This, this is Pinknificent. Maybe we can fix the machine. Great idea, Pinkalicious. But how? Look, there's a diagram. Maybe this can help us. Although, it's kind of complicated. Ooh, let me see. Hmm. That could be a cupcake. <gasps> You're right, Jasmine. So then, what do these circles mean? They could be anything. Maybe they're bowls, or spouts, or holes? Oh, look, I think they're buttons. Push one. I will. Ready out there? Wait one second. Ready? Okay. Not again. Wait, this button has cupcake batter on it. Everything has cupcake batter on it. Mmm, it's the best thing ever. No, Peter, I mean it's stuck. It won't push. We need to clean it.
Mmm, it's coconut with mint frosting, and it's delicious. Please make some more. Make some more. We'll try, and we'll try to make them bigger this time. <laughs> Somehow. We'll help. Hmm. You push that little button and got a little cupcake. So, do you think if I push one of the bigger buttons, we'll get a bigger cupcake? Try it! with lime frosting! Yum! Can we make more? Yes! Mine! But what kind is it? Is it blueberry? Banana? No! It's grape with lemon frosting! Yum! <gasps> is that strawberry with raspberry frosting? I don't think so. It looks more like cherry cranberry to me. Mmm. You were both wrong. It's plum and pomegranate. <laughs> Yum. Hey, don't forget us. We're ready for our cupcakes. They're coming.
Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.